Welcome to Pageproof, the smarter way to review anything and everything. In this video, we'll take you through how a proof is created, reviewed, and finally approved, along with other key features. Firstly, we begin with how a proof is created. If you upload and create the proof, we call you the proof owner. Begin this by dragging and dropping your file onto the file dropper icon on your dashboard. It can be a PDF, video, audio file, Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator file, or an image file like a PNG or a JPEG, Microsoft Office document like Word, Excel or PowerPoint, or a zipped folder containing the HTML for your web banner or a website. If you don't wish to drag and drop your files, you can choose your file from your computer, enter a URL to create a website proof, or select your file from cloud storage options such as Dropbox, Google Drive, OneDrive and Box. Setting up your proof is as easy as checking the proof name, adding any additional tags, for example a job number, client name or project name. Tags are used for searching and for grouping proofs together on your dashboard into folders. You can set an overall deadline for the proof. You can even add an automatic reminder if you like. Then write a message to your reviewers and choose a preset workflow template. A workflow is a group of reviewers that you've saved or you can create a workflow from scratch by choosing create new workflow. In this example, we'll use a workflow template, but we'll make a couple of small changes to the reviewers before sending it out. We will remove a reviewer from the marketing team. You can also drag a reviewer from one step to another. Next, we'll add a reviewer to the legal team and assign them as an inviter. This means they can add other reviewers to the proof. Now that I'm happy with the workflow, let's send out the proof. The proof has now been encrypted and is underway in its workflow, notifying the first group of reviewers, which is the marketing team, by email invitation. Let's take a look at the reviewer's experience of PageProof. A reviewer will receive an email invitation to a proof. If they've never used PageProof before, clicking the View Proof button in the email will automatically create an account for them in the background. All the reviewers need to do is use the red pen to add comments to the proof and push the green button to say they're done. Let's add some feedback by using the red pen. A single click on the proof will place a pin. A click and drag will draw a line. A click and drag diagonally will draw an area. Adding a file to the comment will help give the proof owner all they need in order to make the changes. You can also edit or delete your comment if you like, and you can even style your comment text to add emphasis and clarity. You can at mention other reviewers to draw their attention to the comment. Zooming, panning and rotation will give you a detailed look at the proof. Keyboard shortcuts are also available to fly through your reviewing experience. If you'd like to print the comments that have been added to the proof, you can. You can also download the original file if the proof owner has allowed it. If you're happy with the comments that you've added, clicking the green finish button will indicate to the proof owner that you're done reviewing. Let's manage the proof. Managing the proof during its workflow is easy. On the Proof Owners dashboard, the proof will be sitting in their Sent folder and will be showing how many comments have been gathered so far. The Proof Info pane will indicate who in the workflow has looked at the proof and who has finished their review. A friendly nudge can be sent to reviewers to prompt them. If any mandatory reviewer is holding the proof up, they can be skipped, letting the proof move on through the workflow. There is also a nudge all and skip all option at the top of the workflow for bulk actions. 
Let's take a look at the approvers role in this proof. In every workflow there is an approver. The approver is the last person in the workflow and it's their job to curate all the comments on the proof. The approver can also lock the proof which takes away the red pen from the other reviewers making sure that no other comments are added during their final review. They decide what's marked as a to-do for action and what is not. If no comments are marked as to-do, the approver's green button says approve. If any comments need to be tweaked for clarity, you can edit the comment. If one or more comments are marked as a to-do, the approvers button will say send to-do list. Let's send the to-do list back to the proof owner now and add a message. The proof owner will receive an email notification letting them know that the proof needs some changes. Let's go back to the proof owner's perspective. When the approver has sent back a to-do list, the proof will be sitting in their dashboard inbox. Comments can be printed if you want to work off screen. If the to-dos need to be given to someone else to action, you can assign an editor. They'll receive an email and the proof will be sitting in their dashboard inbox too. If you need to, you can assign multiple editors in the proof's info pane. Mark off each to-do that has been actioned as done. You'll notice that the pins will change from red to green. When you're ready to upload a new version of the proof, click Upload New Version. You can now drag and drop the new file on top of the previous version. The new proof will inherit all the same setup details, but anything can be changed in between versions. For example, you can choose a different workflow or modify the workflow that was used last time. Let's modify the workflow to just send this new version back to the approver. Let's look at how the approver can give final approval on this proof. The approver receives a new email notifying them that there's a new version of the proof. When the proof has a new version, it's easy for the reviewer or the approver to do a quick compare to see if all the changes were made. Go into compare mode to view the proofs side by side. Smart Compare will calculate the differences for you and all the changes are presented in green. You can flick between the two versions of the proof if you like, just to check all the changes have been made. Then you can exit compare mode and click approve. This now notifies the proof owner and the proof is automatically moved into the approved area of the dashboard for everyone involved. If you have questions for our team about PageProof, just ask us via the in-app chat on the dashboard. PageProof, the smarter way to review.